Good evening, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for tuning in to TCM as we share two gripping crime dramas and their remakes tonight. It's fair to say our first two movies of the evening were tame by comparison to the gruesome twosome we have coming up next. When released in 1932 and 1983, respectively, both films were considered the bloodiest, most violent gangster movies ever made, and both films remain classics with huge cult followings. Up first, we have the original, directed by Howard Hawks and starring Paul Muni as a ruthless mob kingpin. From 1932, it's Scarface. In the 1920s and 30s, gangsters, despite being vicious, hardened criminals, had a rather romantic image, certainly in Hollywood. One of the most infamous gangsters of the era was Al Capone, and many believe the 1932 version of Scarface was based on Capone's life, including Capone himself. The evidence was strong. One, Capone's nickname was Scarface. Two, the character in the movie was fighting to control the underworld in the city Capone conquered, Chicago. Scarface writer Ben Hecht found himself in a difficult position when Capone's real-life henchmen came calling. Hecht told them the similarities between the Scarface character and Capone were only to boost publicity for the film. Capone was definitely a celebrity. And just as today, audiences flocked to stories about celebrities. The story here follows the ruthless rise of Tony Camonte and the Chicago mob. He won't win any prizes for his intellect, but he is the definition of street smart. He's also ambitious, opportunistic, and fearless. And just to give his character a little more complexity, he also harbors an unhealthy attachment to his sister. Several real-life gangsters appeared as extras and served as advisors on the film from 1932, also starring George Raft and Anne Dvorak. Here's Scarface. Mm -hmm. 